Go pick your food. Pizza. Pizza. Um. Henry. <laughs> For an entire week, I'm gonna let Henry choose our family's dinners. Oh, Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the world's okayest mom, and I have a very disorganized closet. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the world's okayest mom, and you've seen me have a lot of fun with my two older boys. They've gotten to choose my hair color. They've and meal mama. planned, Mama. Yes, they've meal planned our weeks, and we've had a blast. But you know what? It's time for Henry to join in. So for an entire week, I'm gonna let Henry choose our family's dinners. What could possibly? <laughs> Since Henry's only one year old, he isn't the most verbal. He doesn't say many words. So I have a few techniques that I'm going to try to get some non-verbal choices from him. I don't know what to expect for this week because we're kind of playing it by ear. We're gonna figure it out as we go. And I'm just nervous that he's going to pick some sort of combination for dinner that I can't pull off. Okay, so we're each gonna pick a food. We're gonna place him in the center of the room. And whoever he walks to, that's the food we're gonna have for dinner. So what is your food, Wyatt? Ribs. What's Mine yours? Pizza. Pizza? pizza? Matt, what's yours? Uh, Chinese. Chinese food? <laughs> Mine is salmon and salad. Are we ready? Here we go, get in the oh, center, baby. Oh, I want Chinese food. Come. Henry, you love your mom. Would you guys phone? Yeah, Ooh, interference. interference. Yeah. Oh. Got it. <laughs> Henry ended up choosing Wyatt. <laughs> I actually yes. love ribs, so. Well, you know who's yes. making them? Yes. <laughs> now I've seen in past videos, you've left some comments saying that it looks like I do all the cooking. And so that stuck with me. I thought about it and decided to do something differently this day. Let me know when they're done. The ribs were great. I will give that to Matt. He did a good job. These ribs aren't exactly as fall off the bone as we usually do. But Henry, are you happy with your dinner choice? That was his first rib ever. And he just got to chow down and he was on cloud nine. Wyatt, are you happy? Mm -hmm. Wow, for someone who was so pro pizza. Well, pizza may be better than this. I will never say no to ribs. Henry made a good choice. Day two, I decided to get a more literal selection from Henry. I am going to hold Henry in front of the fridge and whatever he picks is the main ingredient for the dish that I have to cook tonight. Henry! Hey, what are you gonna pick? Oh! He pulled out feta cheese, which was much to Jackson's disappointment. Typically with feta cheese, I just use it as a sprinkling on a salad, but I have seen this TikTok pasta going around for ages. Let's do it. Getting the water boiling. In a shallow baking dish, I had cherry tomatoes, feta, a bunch of seasonings, and olive oil. Let's pop this in the oven. It looks delish. Woo, uh, yum. All right, let's get this on our pasta. Henry loves pasta. He is a pasta fiend. Yum, yum. Everyone enjoyed it. It was fine. The cheese doesn't have that much flavor in it. Really? Yeah, not that much. You should have done tomato sauce. I didn't know I raised a family of food critics. That looks really good. It's pretty good. It is a little bland. I shouldn't have done spaghetti. It's not the right pasta for that type of sauce. I also would do more feta moving forward and maybe I should have salted it on top of the rest of my seasonings. Say night night. Night night. Blow kiss. Yes. Yeah. Day three, I decided to do something a little more toy based. Toy foods. I've chosen five Pizza. as options. Waffle. Mushroom. Pizza. Mushroom. Mushrooms. Chicken. And tomato. It's almost like I paid him to do it. I feel like he just sensed my vibes and he knew what I wanted him to choose to just really drive the kids crazy. Pick. Mushrooms! Woo! 
Mushrooms are a hot topic in our house. They were previously Jackson and Wyatt's least favorite food of all time. Like the thought, the smell, the look, the sound of the word mushrooms made them gag until I hid them in burgers one day to try to get them used to the taste. And they decided they love them. We're gonna get our favorite local Pioneer Town yeah. restaurant. They make the best mushroom tacos I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Red Dog Saloon is the best restaurant I've had in a very long time. I'm so excited. And I really think the kids will be stoked because the mushroom tacos are delicious. And I don't have to cook tonight. These mushroom tacos are the best tacos. They're soft tacos and they're folded over. Yeah, we're ready. Mmm. Mmm. My from goodness. Now I know I've done some vegan content recently and I am still sticking with trying to choose more plant-based meals. So these mushroom tacos that are one of my favorite foods also just happen to be vegan. Wyatt cleaned his plate, Jackson cleaned his plate, mushroom power. Henry, are you ready to eat your taco? It's got your, whoops. It's got your tomato. Yum. So good. Matt and I had just had a conversation. We were talking about how his contribution to every video is taking a bite and chewing and saying, mmm. So good. Now, in honor of Matt's contribution to this series, let's just have a quick montage. It's good. Delicious. It's really good. That's amazing. It's really good. So excited. So good. Oh, gourmet. One day we'll do an episode all about Matt saying different words. Day four, we decided to go all out and we took all of Henry's food toys and put them inside his play enclosure and he had his pick of so many food options. Pizza! Jackson finally got his pizza. We can all rest easy. They are really good at making the homemade pizza dough. I have my chef number one. Let me see you, you look great. For Christmas, their grandma, their Gigi, got them chef hats and aprons so that they can feel official while they help me in the kitchen. You excited? All right, let's do this. They can mix the dough, they can measure the ingredients, they can do all of it. Come on, chef, you got this. Do don't, no, don't taste it. <laughs> That's just raw flour. That's what your apron is for. Wipe it on your apron. Wowza, roll your sleeves up, dude. I don't want sweater in my. Cooking with kids is not easier. You'd think that having help in the kitchen makes it easier, but they're actually at the age where it's still a little stressful for me. But I try so hard to take a step back, let them lead, let them make the mess, let them experiment. We have a chef on our hands, kneading dough. We're gonna oil this up and cover it. Let it rise, okay? We are rolling out the dough. Here, Wyatt. Here's your piece. Here's the thing with pizza. I put it on the table, it disappears. I literally put it on the table, turn around to grab my camera, turn back, and everyone has finished. They inhale this pizza. Henry himself is a pizza crust fiend, so having his very own slice was a very big deal to him and we will definitely be making this more. Day five, I decided to take things outside and get a little bit more distance for Henry's choice. Okay guys, you wanna come show what you picked? Oh gosh, I need something to prop this up. Okay, I picked asparagus. I picked donut. I picked potato. I picked cheese. Okay, ready? Let's Henry. go guys. Henry, Henry, Henry look at Henry. <laughs> he picked a donut. What is it with Wyatt and his gravitational pull towards Henry? He won again. How am I going to cook dinner with a donut? Henry, why are you sad? He wants to walk. I'm sad. He wants to walk around. Now I have to make donut dinner. I feel like I'm on Chopped right now. Or like, yeah, like this is my mystery basket. So I'm gonna make donut bread pudding and hopefully stale up these donuts a little bit more. In this bowl, we got a little egg, evaporated milk, cinnamon, nutmeg. So we're gonna pour this on top. What a weird dinner. Okay, this is looking amazing. I'm very pleased with the assortment of donuts used. Cause look at that chocolate sauce. Never thought I'd look down at my plate and see donuts, potato, and asparagus. But there's a first time for everything. This is his first donut. Oh my gosh, are we bad parents? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, his mind is blown. <laughs> yeah. Been waiting. Tell me what you think about the donut. Is it good? It was fantastic. It was fantastic. Wow, that's good. Let's get that chewing shot of you saying, mmm, so good. It's mm -hmm. really good. So good. And Matt came through with his standard response. This is really good. There we go, that's the Matt we know and love. <laughs> Day six, I decided to eliminate people from the choice once again. And I took the toy food and I put it outside and let Henry pick his ingredient. Go pick your food. Whoa, waffles. What is that one? Ooh, egg. He chose waffles and eggs. You know what that means. We're having breakfast for dinner. Here's the catch with this food. I don't have a waffle maker. It's in storage. So I had to pivot and I used waffle mix to make pancakes. <laughs> Same thing, different shape. Now here is a quick picky eater tip. I do this with my pancakes every time. If you have a picky eater at home, you can make them Hulk pancakes. And you can either use blended spinach or like a superfood protein powder. I like to use a spirulina vitamin powder mix. And I put it in my pancake batter and it makes green pancakes. It's really exciting for the kids to eat them. You know what I'm making? <gasps> Yay! And they feel like they're superheroes and they're colorful and fun and they're still getting nutrients. Fried eggs for the big kids. You know, it's so funny how just a little switch in the day, like a little out of the box idea can really make someone's day. And breakfast for dinner did just that. Scrambled egg, pancake. Henry, a breakfast king. He loves his pancake. Mm, so good. Day seven threw me for a loop. It was a roller coaster ride of a meal. I have an extensive list here of different ingredients. There's more than just this page. Excuse my messy handwriting. But I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna put all of these in a hat and I'm gonna let him choose as many ingredients as he wants. And that's what we're gonna have to make dinner out of. Okay. Hand me one. Mm. Oh, thank you, honey. Good job. Yeah. The kids are great! Chicken. Chicken. Bananas. Yeah. Oh, banana. <laughs> That's his favorite food. Cola. Cola? Banana. Okay, cola, banana, chicken. My first thought when he pulled all three of those out is, okay, cola will be a drink alongside a chicken dish that I make, and then maybe we'll have a fruit salad on the side. But I stopped myself and I said, you know what, Hannah? You are not being creative enough. You are going so basic with these ingredients. Come up with something better. And so I went back to the drawing board. All right, I found a recipe for cola chicken. So I know cola is used a lot of the time as a marinade for beef dishes. I just wasn't sure if it worked for chicken. So I did a little research and cola chicken is a thing. It is very common, actually. I just had never tried it. So I have my cola. Chicken is browning. I took cola, soy sauce, ketchup, garlic, a little bit of brown sugar, and pepper, and made my own makeshift marinade for this chicken. Well, this is a meal I never thought I'd see on my stove, but you know what? I'm embracing this. For the bananas, I sprinkled them in a little bit of sugar just so they would brown and get a little crispy on the ends and I fried them in canola oil. I've never fried bananas before, and I think I probably did it wrong. I probably should have coated them in a flour or something, but uh, there's a first time for everything, and everything was a learning experience. It looks fantastic. Heck yeah, cola chicken. And wow, the reactions I got from my family when they tasted this cola chicken. It Is it good? Is it Wyatt approved? Jackson and Wyatt loved it. It was a really, really fantastic marinade for this chicken. It tasted amazing. Oh my gosh, huge fan. This is like one of my favorites so far. Matt absolutely loved it. Henry, did you clean your plate? Do you clean his plate? 
Yes. He loved it. Henry cleaned his plate before I could even see him eat it. He was so happy with the chicken. Moment of truth. <laughs> Mm. We've made so many weird foods on this show at this point between the spaghetti tacos, banana bread stuffing, donut bread pudding, cola chicken. I feel like we almost should release a cookbook of just the bizarre foods my kids come up with. Are you gonna stay? Okay. Do you wanna come here by me? By the end of the week, I was so pleased with Henry's choices. I feel like he made us push our boundaries in terms of cuisine that we try, ingredients that we try. He picked something viral, he picked something wild, he picked something sweet. He really had a great choice throughout this entire week. Would I do this again? Absolutely. I think it'll only get more fun the older he gets. So if you have a baby at home, let him choose dinner. You never know what'll happen. What was your favorite food from the week that Henry picked? Red dog. Red dog? The, the meal I didn't cook. Thanks. That's a Wyatt for ya. <laughs> so that's all for now. I'm Hannah, and what did you think about the meals Henry picked? Would you eat any of them, and would you try this with your own baby? Let me know on Instagram. Let me know if you have any more fun food ideas for us to explore. And if you'll please excuse me, we are on our sixth walk of the day. And I gotta navigate this wagon. Till next time.